Mindy Zimmering was just trying to be a good Samaritan, but she had no idea that one good deed would cost her much more than that. A man approximately between the ages of 25 to 35 asked me if I would pay for his taxi ride, which came to a sum of $8.50. He had in his hand a $10 and a $20 bill, so I know he could do it, and he told me that the taxi driver did not take cash. After giving her debit card to pay for the taxi ride outside of Dollarama in Richmond, she was given back a card that looked like hers, but wasn't. Same color, but with another number. And I put it back in my wallet, which is on the back of my phone, and I went on my way. She then started receiving fraudulent texts from numbers pretending to be her bank. The next morning, she got a real call from her bank, letting her know there was almost $7,000 worth of transactions. They did two transactions for over $1,000 at Shell, the Shell station nearby, and, two, and, and another $1,000 each, so $2,000 in total, um, and a little bit more than that, at a shopper's drug mart, all within seconds of each other. Richmond RCMP say they are aware of at least seven other similar incidents in the area. They're advising the public to notify them of any fraudulent encounters. Whenever we see something new or a potential trend happening where the public is being victimized, we want to get that out there because prevention is huge. For now, Mindy is waiting on reimbursements from her bank, but is warning people to be careful, to watch out for red flags. The actual conversation took place right here. So I was standing right here, the gentleman was standing over here, and the taxi was right in this pocket in front of us. Anyone with information is asked to contact Richmond RCMP or Crime Stoppers. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.